What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an easy tutorial on how to flashlight save in Dead by Daylight. Let's go. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. The first step to this whole thing is to learn the killer's animations. The first two animations you want to learn is when you stun the killer and when the killer is breaking the pallet. During these two animations is when it's the easiest to learn how to blind the killer because the killer's head does not move on the screen. Once you understand these animations, the second step is to learn how to blind the killer. The easiest time to learn how to blind the killer is during these two animations when he gets stunned and when he's breaking the pallet. Before you even think about doing a flashlight save, you need to get this down. So you need to practice over and over and over again, guys. Blinding the killer is very easy. All you have to do is point your flashlight at their face for about two seconds. What you want to do is to have the killer's face in the middle of the screen when you use your flashlight. Once you have the killer's face in the middle of the screen, you have the right angle on your camera. Then you want to have the right distance between you and the killer, so what you do is you don't move the camera, instead you move your character forward or backwards depending on what the situation needs. The next blind you want to practice is when a killer is vaulting a window. This is just like when the killer is breaking the pallet. During the vault, the head stays in the same exact position. Okay, so you've practiced blinding the killer for about a week and you're ready to do a flashlight save. So let's talk about timing. Performing a flashlight save is all about timing. If you do it too soon, the killer gets blinded, but he does not drop the survivor. And if you take too long, the killer will turn around, not allowing you to blind them. The game actually gives you two notifications when to activate your flashlight. When the survivor is being picked up, they make a grunting sound. You wait a second and then you activate your flashlight. Oh. Are you part of the Scream Nation? If not guys, subscribe down below, it's easy, it's free, and here's a picture of a baby pyramid head that I drew just to say thank you. The second notification is something you can actually see. When the killer picks up the survivor, they bend their knees, start lifting up, and halfway up they put their arm underneath the survivor. That's when you activate your flashlight. Now notice them both in real time. Good killers will try to look away when picking up a survivor. That's when perks like Spring Burst come into play. You can use Spring Burst to get into position to do the flashlight save. But if you don't like Spring Burst, you can always use Dead Heart and have the same outcome. Another way to do a flashlight save is to stay stealthy and wait for the killer to get to the survivor. Using a perk like Iron Will is great so that the killer doesn't know you're around if you're hurt. Wait for the right time and then pop up and do the flashlight save. Keep practicing guys and eventually you will be the one who does the flashlight saves and your friends will expect you to save them every time they go down. Just like my friend here, Toxic Pinky, oh, expects to save.